I definitely think that the disability community is underserved and we are forced to adapt to the technology rather than the technology being developed to adapt to us. Over the past seven years, the team here at Microsoft Devices has been on a journey to make hardware more accessible. Do you want to try this out? Yeah. Give it a shot. We are really excited to announce a new adaptive input ecosystem. It consists of the Microsoft Adaptive Mouse, Microsoft Adaptive Hub, and Microsoft Adaptive Buttons. So I was actually born missing my forearm and my right hand. And so for me as a graphic designer, I felt like one of my biggest limitations was simply how efficiently that I could work. Even though I felt like I was doing really good work, I just wasn't able to earn the same income. The adaptive ecosystem is this really exciting new technology that allows people with disabilities to fully use our bodies in functional ways that just wasn't possible before. The Microsoft Adaptive Hub and Buttons allow you to create a wireless switch input system for your PC or phone. The button consists of eight digital switches, each of which can be programmed to whatever you want. You can program anything from a simple keystroke to a long sequence macro. As a person with a disability, I just want to be able to just live my life as freely as everyone else. My computer setup is only one part of my life. I'm not getting that work-life balance. It's already hard enough with a disability, so I need to try to do as fast as I can, as accurate as possible with things that aren't meant for me. Try that. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Graduate school can be very competitive. I really try to keep up with my classmates, and it can be hard being the person in the room with the only visible disability. And sometimes we just want to blend in, use the same technology as everyone else. And with data science, I do a lot of coding. And when people realize that I code a lot slower than them, like I feel self-conscious about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need a new tab button. Program well, new tab. Yes, a new tab. I think with this adaptive technology, I'm excited to use that because, you know, sometimes to do shortcuts, you have to hold down three buttons at the same time. And as a quadriplegic, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Ability Powered is a blog that I run for disabled gaming. Focuses on assistive technology just to get gamers playing games. Why are there chickens? So with the Microsoft Adaptive Ecosystem software, I can really set my switches to be app specific. So if I'm working on my website, I can copy and paste with just one button. Or if I'm in the video game, I can make one button cast fireballs. I can really set it up to anything I need, no matter if I'm working or playing. The Microsoft Adaptive Input Ecosystem is very adaptable and very customizable. Almost every part of it you can swap so that you create a setup that is unique to you. It is one size fits one. The more buttons that you have access to, the more things you can do in a game, you can customize the toppers. So for me, I'm gonna use it with my cheek. That made me be able to go from two actions to eight actions, just with adding a joystick. It's been completely life-changing. Oh! The setup is actually really easy. Everything connects really fast. It, it made sense. I think that's the biggest part of it. <laughs> I love having the Microsoft Adaptive Ecosystem because I know not only can I use it right now, but I can adapt and it can change as my body changes. So I'll be able to use it for a very long time. I love adaptive technology. It kind of levels the playing field for people with disabilities. I'm able to take on more jobs, I can get those jobs done more quickly, and I have more free time to spend with my family, which is maybe the best part. I think people with disabilities are so creative and so resourceful, and really these are the kind of tools we need to be able to unlock our full potential.